Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. In this video, we're going to look at Taylor's scientific management theory, which is uh, another motivational theory that we are looking at in this channel uh, in addition to Herzberg and Maslow's motivational theory. Now Taylor's uh, scientific management theory is, is very different to say uh, Maslow's uh, motivational theory because uh, it looks at things uh, in a very in a very autocratic way in a very uh, employer oriented way uh, which obviously you look at uh, you'll understand uh, through the course of this video now let's let's look at uh, a little bit of uh, an introduction now uh, for this theory now Frederick Taylor's uh, Taylor's uh, theory emphasizes on emphasizes efficiency by focusing entirely on monetary benefits or rather should I say uh, focusing entirely on employee productivity and then rewarding these employees who are productive monetarily so that is that is like the fundamental basis of, of Frederick Taylor's uh, scientific management theory so the mindset is very employer oriented uh, and it was used it was originally used in in manufacturing by Taylor but it is actually practiced to this date very sparingly though uh, and you know why so if we break this uh, down further for you the scientific management theory suggests that projects or assignments should actually be broken down into components firstly and then workers or employees should I say should be given very specific tasks based on their comp competencies and their efficiencies should be monitored at all times so basically in a very mechanical way typical to Taylor uh, the role of each worker is fixed so each worker is given fixed competitive role uh, sorry beg your pardon fixed repetitive roles and is basically made to function like a cog in a machine so the roles are fixed the same tasks are repeated over and over again and the greater the efficiency of a worker in such a in such a state where repetitive tasks are provided the greater is the financial rewards and vice versa so if a worker is efficient he's given he or she is given great financial rewards and if he or she isn't, then the financial rewards are cut down drastically. So the concept of a basic pay, you know, which, which builds up based on the basis of experience, etc., experience or loyalty are all taken out of the equation. And it's sort of like a dog-eat-dog -dog situation where the more productive you are, the more you're going to get paid. The less productive you are, the less you're going to get paid and possibly going to be replaced. So it also emphasizes the basis of uh, an organizational hierarchy based on efficiency. So the more efficient you are, the more higher up in the hierarchy you are and the more you shall be respected and paid and, the, and, uh, and vice versa, obviously. So it basically looks down on people who are, who are identified as being less efficient and looks to actually get them replaced by workers who are more efficient so to make it easier to remember we can actually look at this diagram here and look at three components which which form the basis of Taylor's theory and the three components are monitor measure and control leading to efficiency so the workers need to be monitored at all times their efficiencies need to be measured and then their outputs need to be controlled their actions need to be controlled so at all times a worker needs to be supervised a worker needs to be allocated specific tasks and the worker is expected to perform those specific tasks efficiently to provide productivity for the organization so what matters and what doesn't matter for businesses according to Taylor's theory only productivity and effic efficiency matter nothing else matters there's no emphasis on initiatives taken by employees or innovations by employees all of these things don't matter it's only 
productivity, efficiency, and just doing what is what is being told and what is expected of an employee. Employees are only motivated by money, according to Taylor, and the money is paid per unit of output. So we basically operate on a on what is called as a piece rate. So there is no emphasis on initiatives and uh, and and employee motivation is only linked to financial rewards and employees are paid on the basis of a piece rate. So you you probably you, you probably had guessed so far you probably have guessed so far that this sort of uh, motivational theory isn't really applicable much in the modern era but you would be surprised uh, that there are actually manufacturing units which still try to to follow the piece rate uh, practices and obviously are highly criticized so if we look at the applications in the modern era it's actually very impractical for obvious reasons it's extremely autocratic the benefits are short term because employees can be psychologically demotivated and stressed because of doing repetitive tasks and menial tasks and never actually feeling like they're given any sense of control or any sense of autonomy they're always monitored they're always being told what to do and they're always being accounted for and this obviously results in high employer uh, employee turnover rates but if if we look at an example there are various uh, there are certain manufacturing units in china which have been criticized in the past for peace rate policies for using taylor's uh, theory to actually structure their organization basically and retailers from the western world primark for instance have been criticized in the past for using the services of such manufacturers so as you see taylor's theory is 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 a very it is called the scientific management theory but it is actually a very autocratic theory based wherein the the entire control is based on on monetary rewards and the whole of the control of the organization the reins of the organization belong to the management and the management focuses entirely on efficiency and productivity to generate output okay hopefully that was uh, that was uh, easy enough and simplified enough for you hopefully you found that useful i thank you very much for your attention to this video and i thank you for your continual support to this channel so far i recommend and i encourage that uh, you spread the word you like the videos like content on this channel for more future content thank you very much have a wonderful day cheers bye